Welcome to this vlog. Uh, it's just a quick video uh, for a quick DIY project that I've discovered for my QTX PAJ 15As. And the reason for this video is that uh, recently I've seen a lot of people using their uh, speakers as lighting stands, if you like. And um, I've recently just bought a car, um, which is not a very big one, so I've been looking for ways to downsize my rig slightly. So now my setup is going to include these two speakers with two lights on and a T bar. Um, however, the QTX PAJ 15As don't actually have a lighting stand or bolt system integrated, so this video is just designed to just give you a quick idea of how I've managed to do mine. Right, the equipment you're going to need is a power drill, a Phillips head screwdriver, adjustable spanner, pliers, one bolt, one nut, one wing nut, and four washers, not two, four. So I've just taken the speaker off the tripod and uh, now you can see underneath the light itself is how it's attached, uh, which is just a wing nut on a bolt like you'd see on most lighting stands. So if you stick around now, what I'm going to show you is uh, how I managed to do this myself. Now the first thing you want to do is uh, pick a position where you're going to want that bolt put in. Uh, I did originally want it around about there to give me more room for lighting and stability, however there is the uh, amplifier section for the tweeter there on the PAJ 15 h so I've just moved it back slightly so I know there's absolutely nothing there that's going to be damaged when I was drilling through it. So the uh, second step after that is you're on the uh, QTX PAJ 15 a you're going to want to go ahead and remove this amplifier uh, panel section which is secured by eight screws. Uh, these are Phillips head. Uh, before proceeding to this part, do ensure that you are competent um, in using power drills because I ain't taking no liability for any damage you cause to your speaker. And this is just a guideline video. Right, once you've unscrewed the amplifier panel, make sure that you are keeping those screws safe because you're going to obviously need those screws to fit the panel back on. Uh, and then you're just going to want to slightly take this back, being very careful not to snag any of the wiring. Most of the wiring goes down to the base in these speakers. And then that's going to give you access to inside the cabinet. Right, okay, so now you should be able to see whether there's anything obstructing the top of the speaker. So like I said, in this case, I've got the tweeter there, uh, which stopped me from drilling right into the centre. So once you've gone ahead and checked that. Right, you're now on to the most important part of all, uh, which is really quite an important part. So like I said earlier, if you're not competent in a drill, give up now. Um, so you're going to want to find the spot where you were going to drill, uh, get your drill, the appropriate bit, and uh, get drilling. Um, you're going to want to make sure you're all the way through the cabinet. Uh, usually if it's made out of ABS like this one, they're about 4mm thick. Um, don't apply too much pressure because you don't want the drill bit going right through and really damaging the uh, internal workings of the speaker. Right, so I've now got my uh, driller hole, so I'm going to go and put the bolt through. Um, <coughs> you also want one washer on that side of the bolt. So go ahead and feed this through to the outside of the speaker. Find the hole, there we go. And then on the outside of the speaker, put a washer to uh, make sure the Try and just spread the load a bit better and reduce the damage and strain on the speaker casing. And then the nut. Or the bolt, I always get those two mixed up. Just thread that down. Now then you're going to make sure that's really tight. Um, and if you want it doubly tight, which I do, uh, get a spanner. rather than reaching in there and trying to damage anything and then just give that a few twists just to make sure it's way more than finger tight you don't want that undone when it's got a light on it so yep that's pretty damn tight and now grab yourself the two extra washers and the wing nut and just thread those on 
that is now basically your lighting stand sorted. Well, I hope this video has just given you a uh, quick idea on a uh, quick DIY project you can do to uh, just advance or shrink down your lighting rig. Um, so, like I say, I hope this has helped. This is just for the QTX PAG 15A um, for the guide, um, but I'm sure it can be applied to many more. Uh, there are many high-end speakers, um, like your RCFs and things that usually do tend to have a bolt or something already fixed in. Uh, so this is just for speakers that don't already have that option. Um, but yeah, I hope this has helped you. So if it has, please go ahead and uh, like and subscribe. Hopefully there will be some shots of my new setup, small setup in action coming soon. So thanks for uh, watching. See you later.